House hunting chronicle style. We've seen all kinds of casas from tiny to titanic, holy and historic. But these days, with some buyers more concerned about pandemics than patios, we set out to find a different kind of dream house, one perfect for a long quarantine. When braving the high-end real estate jungle, it helps to have a guide like Beth Dickerson, vice president of Gibson Sotheby's International Real Estate. The only thing as impressive as her client list, which includes a former New England QB partial to the number 12, is her sales record, which tops $1 billion. 2020 has been unprecedented for a lot of reasons. How has all of this affected the real estate industry? The biggest uh, trend right now is outside space. They want to have some place to go out and get fresh air. With plenty of fresh air just minutes from Boston, it's no surprise that we find a piece of paradise perched up on a hill in Brookline. We are situated on a half an acre of land. We have 7,500 square feet. Every single inch of the space has been custom designed. Shana, welcome to 14 Allerton Street in Brookline. I might not leave 14 Allerton Street in Brookline. This yeah. is fantastic. Many movie theaters are closed, but this entertainment room with its 10-foot ceilings is wide open. You can notice, too, all the LED lighting at the stairwells, surround sound and every ceiling has a different pattern and design. Next up, for you quarantine bakers, you'll find nothing cookie cutter about this chef quality kitchen. We're in the custom design kitchen. It's an eight by four white rhino, one piece center island. There's two uh, dishwashers and they actually open just with a little knock. So I just knock? That's all you do is knock. Child care is a major COVID concern, but if live-in help is an option... It's got a private entrance downstairs. You can create an au pair suite. With the kids taken care of, you can retreat to the master bedroom or this bathroom, which boasts well over the CDC's recommended six feet of space to socially distance. And his and hers are separated. Separated vanities. <laughs> to our left is the walk-in closet. This is not a walk-in closet. This is a home in itself. <laughs> I can get lost in here. That's <laughs> amazing. And finally, if the backyard is too far away, this off-suite deck with city views is the ideal spot to escape it all, even if only for a moment. I am home. It's perfect. I am home. Your own little sanctuary. The price tag for all this, $9,995,000. Outside your budget? Fortunately, house hunting during the pandemic has gotten a lot easier because of people like Remark Vision's Matt Cullimer. We specialize in photography, video, virtual tours, aerial photography. The demand for the real estate content has been extremely high during COVID-19. A relief for Colomer, whose wedding photography work has been down. Asked if he prefers newly renovated to newlyweds? It's a toss up, kind of depends on the day. Well, today it's no contest as he finds himself in a stunning Marlboro Street penthouse, flooded with natural light and meticulously styled by its owner, who happens to work in industrial design. But even with those advantages, it's never just point and shoot. Capturing the right angle and composition to make sure that you're really capturing the room in the best way possible. That's the big thing we look for with real estate photos. For amateurs looking for a quick DIY tip, here's three. Use a tripod, take your time, and stay out of the mirror. Staying out of frame when creating 360-degree virtual tours with cameras like this is much harder and time-consuming. We'll do sometimes four or five shoots in a day, and it can be difficult to get everything done in a timely fashion. Fortunately, if he can't stay for the perfect sunset, there's an app for that. We'll take a photo, we can make it nighttime, even if that photo was taken during the day. Editing photos may be useful for buyers, but for Colomer, there's nothing like taking the perfect shot. Sometimes you take it and you're like, yeah, I think I nailed that one. Beth Dickerson tells us that Marlboro Street property has now sold. And while we had a lot of fun touring that fantasy quarantine house in Brookline, the price point is obviously out of reach for most buyers. But agents tell us that right now, home offices and outdoor space are in high demand at every price point. Up next, a shift in the rental market.